All right, Kai. Do you want to be the next YouTube sensation, guys? Do you want to retire, high stylings? You never know, maybe you can. You know what, guys? I have been an extra in movies. I have auditioned for America's Got Talent and got to the next page. Didn't get on the show, it was the theater. Then I got on to the next page of Dungeon, Dra D Dragon's Den. Um, on, on there, I got on to the next page. Didn't get on to that show either because I had to, I had to audition in Toronto. And it was for my art store, Mateo Fantasy Art and for Marco. And I was like, I can't go because I know I didn't get that many sales. I got sales. But I know I'm like, well, I know it's like, they always want you to see how well you're doing sales-wise. I mean, I would have probably got very good exposure and would have done well. But I wanted, I, I had to be in Toronto to audition for that live. Was the next step, which would have been cool. I looked very good on that audition. It was a very good audition. Then I auditioned for RuPaul's Drag Race Darlings, and I didn't make even a cut or anything. I didn't even get any part of it. But the reason why I think that is because they're very different from a lot of those drag queens. I mean, I mean, not totally different. I mean, some of them like me, I'm sure, and think I'm cool and everything. But I find that I'm very masculine and very like gorgeous and handsome, and I find the people like that. Not all, not all of them, because some of them are handsome too. But I think that some of them are really feminine. That are drag queens might might think that I'm not into drag. A lot of times when people see me, they don't think I'm into drag, and my, I don't identify as it, which might be why. But but they don't think I uh, I'm into drag because I look so masculine as Marco. So they're just like, you do drag, and they just a lot of people see me. I'm very good looking. Like I'm almost like the most epitome of godlike creations in the world, which I'm very very lucky as Marco. So people might take a step back and say, hey, we can't. We can't even become close to this this guy. I'm, so, I'm not surprised with the RuPaul's Drag Race one. I was on set with Rob Lowe. I mean, it's all written in the stock. And I did go out with a celebrity. I'm not going to mention the name of the celebrity. But I did go out with a celebrity at one point. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a major, major, um, uh, typical thing that I'm going to be a star, darling. And everyone that I see is so nice, they're always like, you're going to be famous. A lot of people say you're going to be Winnipeg famous, which I'd be happy with Winnipeg famous, but I'm looking for world famous, darling. World famous, everyone. Bye. I'd be happy with Winnipeg famous, but world famous is where it's at, darling. Click the subscribe button.